Okay, welcome to this video on how dangerous is turbulence. My name is Neil Shearing and my website is fuidefear.com. Now, turbulence is a big concern to many people and uh, there's very few people who aren't a bit concerned when turbulence starts to kick in at 30, 40,000 feet. Um, people's main concerns is that the plane is going to fall apart because of the turbulence, because of the shaking, or it's going to stop flying, like the uh, turbulence itself is going to stop the movement of the air over the wings and the plane is going to fall out of the sky. Now to overcome the fear associated with turbulence, it's important to understand planes, how they fly, and flight mechanics, which is what I'm going to walk you through a bit in this video. Now people don't learn these things, they don't know how a plane stays in the air, they don't know how turbulence affects a plane, so therefore you're always scared of something that's a potential danger, and they see turbulence as a potential danger, therefore they're scared of it and fearful of it. Once you understand turbulence, you realize there is nothing to actually be afraid of. I uh, just want to say that this, um, there's a big difference between an anxiety or a fear and a phobia. And this video is one that will educate you about turbul turbulence and it will help you to overcome an anxiety or a mild fear. It won't help you as much if you have a phobia or have a fear of flying and you're terrified of flying and never get near the airport. Phobias are much more extreme, irrational fears and that's not what I'm trying to tackle in this video. Okay, let's look briefly at the causes of turbulence and understand turbulence a bit better. Now, turbulence can be caused by storms, which are basically avoided by the plane, by the plane flying around them. Um, pilots can report turbulence to other pilots, they can t uh, tell pilots other pilots about storms, they have radar to identify storms, air traffic control will tell them about storms, and pilots just basically if at all possible will avoid a storm, they'll go around it. They also don't take off if there's a storm near the airport and they don't land if there's a storm at the destination airport. They either wait for it to pass and circle around or they go to a different airport. So this specific type of turbulence caused by storms is avoided. Um, turbulence, a special type of turbulence called wake turbulence is caused by planes taking off and landing and disturbing the air as they pass through it. So in order to counter that, air traffic control um, will space out the planes so that the, dis the turbulence dissipates. Another kind of turbulence is caused by the sun heating the land, which causes the air above it to rise. And that will affect a plane um, as it takes off or land, but it's generally very mild, that kind of turbulence, and nothing to be concerned about. And finally, there's turbulence caused by the jet streams, which are high up in the atmosphere. And as the jet stream roars along at up to 250 miles an hour, it pushes the other air masses aside. And at the boundaries, there's turbulence set up. Um, and some planes on some destination, on some um, trips, will make use of the jet stream to travel faster. Obviously, they get a 250 mile an hour tailwind if they're going in the direction of the jet stream. And uh, that may cause turbulence as, you, as the plane enters and leaves the jet stream. So that's something to be aware of. Um, but again, it's of no risk to the plane. So let's look at the physical danger you can actually be in um, caused by turbulence. There's almost zero chance of turbulence shaking apart a modern commercial airliner. Uh, no modern commercial airliner has crashed solely due to turbulence and modern commercial airliners are able to withstand forces 150% stronger than they're ever expected to encounter while in the skies. Okay, a plane cannot be shocked out of the sky by turbulence. As long as the engines are providing thrust, air flows over the wings, which provides lift, and the plane stays airborne. If for any chance that thrust stops, if both engines on the plane, or two out of two, or four out of four, if they fail, the plane can glide for a long time. A Boeing 747-200 has a glide ratio of 15 to 1. That means for every foot forward, every foot it falls, it can go forward 15 feet. So from 37,000 feet up, it can glide for 80 to 100 miles. Okay, actual physical danger from turbulence is the potential of being injured from being thrown around the plane. Most injuries, this is recorded fact, are due uh, received by flight crew members, and the passenger injuries are those usually due to those people not wearing seat belts or ignoring the fastened seat belt sign or insisting on standing up and walking around instead of being seated. So the best way to avoid an injury due to turbulence or any physical uh, injury from turbulence at all is to keep your seat belt fastened at all times while flying. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more information, there's the uh, FAA fact sheet on turbulence, the Fury to Fear website, and we've also got a Kindle book called Fear of Turbulence. The links should be in the video below, or the links you can take down from this screen here. Thanks for watching.